Joining us, the attorney for one of the people accused of abusing and killing an Augusta County toddler says his client did not hurt her. Today marked the first day of Travis Brown's trial. Brown and his girlfriend Candy Royer are charged in the death of three-year-old Khaleesi Kuthriel. NBC 29's Maggie Glass live in the newsroom with our top story at five. Hi, Maggie. Casey, day one began with opening arguments from both sides and the start of a long string of witnesses. The first witness called by the prosecution was Amanda Airy, Khaleesi's mother. Brown is on trial for aggravated murder, felony murder, and child abuse. In his opening arguments, Commonwealth's attorney Tim Martin walks through their case, showing the jury photos and videos of a bruised and bloodied little girl. He also showed them Facebook messages allegedly linking Brown to Khaleesi's death. The prosecution says in Brown's first interview with investigators, he claimed not to know anything about where Khaleesi is, then changed his story to say that the toddler had killed herself. Brown's attorney is Dana Cormier. He laid out the defense's case in his opening arguments, acknowledging that Khaleesi was abused, but saying that his client is not the one who hurt her, and the person who is responsible for that is Candy Royer. Royer's trial is set for October. The defense says the photos and videos the prosecution is trying to use against their client are Royer's, not Brown's. The first witness Monday was Amanda Airy, Khaleesi's mother, who testified through tears about her daughter going missing and her search to find her. The jury is made up of 10 women and 5 men. Brown's trial is expected to go through Friday. We will continue to have extended coverage on the trial. Live in the newsroom, Maggie Glass, NBC 29 News.